I'm not sure what CTE is. Are CTE classes gonna help me in the future? I don't really what know is what CTE? CTE classes. Is it like I don't know what CTE money? Classes. I've never heard of CTE. I've never what heard heard is of that? that? The Grand Forks public school system has many classes that students can take. One category of these classes is CTE, Career and Technical Education, which are classes that help prepare students for a career in specific industries. Hey guys, today I wanted to go around and show you some of the CT classes I've been in during my time in high school. So let's go. Hey guys, this is the Graphic Arts Room where students learn how to use Adobe Photoshop and other photo editing softwares like Illustrator and InDesign. In the more advanced classes, you use vinyl cutters, shirt presses, and other machines to create shirts, cutouts, and more. I really enjoy this class because I've always wanted to use Photoshop in this class allowed me to learn how. Hey guys, today we're in the foods lab and we're making apple crisp in a foods for today class. And one thing I really love about these foods classes is it gives kids hands-on experience making food and using kitchen appliances so they can cook at home using the recipes they learned in class. Next up we have the video production room with everything you need to film. Cameras, lenses, microphones, tripods, lighting, Everything you need is here, and we have many computers for you to edit and upload your videos. Hey guys, I'm at one of our local elementary schools where every day for the last hour of my school day, I come here and I'm a teacher's assistant. So I help students out with their work, grade some papers, you know. Um, it's Yeah, it's really fun. I enjoy it, and it gets me in the, like, the eyes of a teacher. Instead of being a student, I like see the classroom from the other side of the desk, and I really like that. It gets me, because I want to be a teacher when I'm older, it gets me into the, almost, the mindset of being a teacher. Earlier, I don't have, to, like, this is before college, this is in high school, and I really love that. Hi, my name is Jacob Berglund. I'm a senior in the Graphic Arts 1 class. I'm in video production. Uh, right now I'm currently in Graphic Arts. Hi, my name's Aiden. I'm a senior and I took woodworking. So currently I'm involved in medical careers, but I have also taken the CNA course and the intro to med class as well. I'm currently in Marketing 1. My name is Cole Barda. I'm a student here at Grand Fork Central and I'm in a Foods for Today class. There's so many reasons why I love graphic arts. Uh, it gives me the opportunity to put down ideas that I come up with in my head into a digital form. My favorite thing we get to do in medical careers is the second half of the semester, we get to go and do clinicals in the hospital and other outpatient settings like a dentist or the animal hospital. Um, just being able to be creative and create videos on things you enjoy doing. Um, my favorite thing, yeah, we gotta do like hands-on stuff and like for like staining on certain projects. We gotta like pick our color, like how dark we want it or how light. My favorite thing about the class is um, the lab days when we cook um, because I get to learn different recipes and kitchen safety, which is good for me as a senior since I'm going to college next year and I need to learn how to cook and what meals I am able to cook. Uh, I love taking graphic arts and I definitely recommend it to anyone with great ideas looking for a chance to express them. I like the assignments we do, how we're like, we're doing like a little like mini city right now for our marketing class, so like we make our own business. Uh, I like that like you can just do whatever, uh, you can kind of take the assignment whatever direction and like make your own personal thing, I guess. Uh, we're able to put different designs on t-shirts and print out stickers on the vinyl cutter. Do you think there could be any improvements made to CTE classes in Grand Forks? Um, if nothing, nothing much to improve on um, for this class, I mean, could get some uh, updated kitchenware maybe, stuff like that, just better appliances, but other than that, it's, I, it's a really solid class, so I really like it a lot. Um, probably the funding and just the inventory of cameras and lenses. There's not really much improvements, I think, like maybe more time on certain projects. So we're not rushing and we can make it like perfect. Um, I think they could be like advertised more about like how good they are, or not advertised, but like been talked about more about how good they are for like your future career 
because it's like a class that you can actually like use like later in life and i just i like that a lot do you plan on pursuing a career in the field yeah i'm actually going to und for graphic design did that start because of this class uh a little bit i started graphic design uh during high school and then started taking the class so it kind of helped make my decision a little easier too What is your favorite thing about CT classes that you don't see in other classes? Uh, my favorite thing about CT courses is that it's an opportunity for those students to get some real hands-on um, curriculum. They get to, to do the things they do out in the workforce, right? And when they're in that classroom, they learn about those basics, but then we have an extension of that classroom. They're on a co-op experience, work-based learning, supervised ag culture experience, and they get to go out to the workforce and serve as an internship and apply what they learn in the classroom in the actual job setting, whether they're still in high school or in college. Well, personally, I think this is an incredible opportunity uh, for you guys just to learn all the valuable lessons that uh, you have out there with technology and being able to adapt to the, the new technology that's coming out uh, is extremely impressive and it's an ever-changing world, so if you don't stay on top of it, uh, it's going to leave you behind, so no, you're definitely getting a leg up. Well, it's just uh, amazing to see what all the tools that you guys have access to and, and building for the future you know certainly things have changed since I was in school some 30 plus years ago um, and just building for the future and, and being on the cutting edge of things uh, is things are so much more advanced so much more opportunities for you as students to get out and enter the workforce a lot sooner than uh, than we had uh, opportunities for so uh. I think the best thing about CTE in North Dakota is just the connection it has with industry helps all of you students find out what kind of occupations are out there and just help you get on a path so that you don't waste time after graduation. You get on a path and you can get into the workforce and, 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 and live the life you want to live. A lot of favorite things were probably the biggest one is the hands-on aspect. Like here right now, you're, you're just not talking about this, you're doing it. You're putting together this. and That's, that's the exciting thing about career and technical education that above and beyond the, the true academic classes is you just, just don't talk about it, you do it. I think CTE classes give students the opportunity to delve into some of their interest areas, apply their knowledge, um, integrate reading, math, and some of their other skills into something that they're maybe more interested in, whether it's video production or agriculture or cooking or whatever that might be. Well, they let you play with your hands a lot more. There's a lot of different classes that uh, give you more opportunities than just your typical uh, math and English. Like aviation, you get to fly around drones and maybe you have a nice simulator where you get to experience the opportunity to fly. Videography gives you a chance to uh, see how it is when you uh, do journalism, try to take uh, interviews like you're doing right now. We have health careers, which gives you a good start into an EMT course, or if you want to go into nursing or even medical. And uh, automotive, of course, if you uh, like getting your hands dirty with cars, there's a lot of fun to uh, be done with that. Well, it gives the students the hands-on experience to go into, whether it be mechanics, nursing, engineering, aviation, to explore career pathways. And we have currently have 13 CTE centers across North Dakota, and they are vital for our educational opportunities for students. And what improvements do you think could be made to CTE classes in North Dakota? Well, actually, judging on the booths that I've been here, I can't see much improvement. The only thing would be perhaps expansion opportunity for more kids. That would be the thing I'd see. This is fantastic, what you guys are doing. And as you see the excitement of, uh, of the kids learning and applying, and uh, it's phenomenal. It's like what I would expect typically at a college level. So this is really cool stuff. I think so. We've uh, seen quite a bit of uh, improvement over the last couple of years with what you guys are doing with uh, Grand Forks, uh, especially over in uh, northwest North Dakota where I'm at. We got uh, a couple of new uh, facilities coming up such as the Bakken Area Skills Center over in Wofford City. Uh, Williston High School is going to get an extension to their CT facility as well. There's a lot of opportunities, uh, especially in northwest and uh, growing over in central and uh, northeast northeast uh, North Dakota with uh, UAS uh, growing as well. So a lot of opportunities and here we are being uh, interviewed and it's uh, just so great to see uh, videography uh, continue in high school. We need uh, more reporters, we need more people in uh, media and hopefully this gets people to uh, come out and uh, think of a career in uh, video journalism. Do you think that um, businesses could offer more internships to uh, students in high school? 
I think businesses are doing a tremendous job right now of, of networking with uh, high schools and colleges compared to 20 years ago. And um, and there's always, obviously, there's always room to have for more, but right now I think we just need to keep building a connection between the high schools, the teachers, and industry, and then industry coming in and actually sharing their story. Um, so many times kids go through school and they don't know a third, well, probably I'd say half to two-thirds of the number of jobs that are out there like we just we're so focused on these few but we don't realize what's in front of us as an opportunity and getting those college but getting those businesses into the classroom will help uh, bridge that gap.